Hi, it's Piotr from IT Unicorns here. Today we are going to learn about in database tools in Alteryx. They, they allow you to connect directly to your database. The point of having in database tools is that it lets you do ETL and calculations in the source system without moving the data out of it. The in database tools let you visually build your SQL query which is processed directly in the database. That's why when writing your formula or filtering the data in the in-database tools, only the SQL syntax will work and not alter specific functions or tools. Okay, let's begin. What you see here is what we are going to perform during this tutorial. So we will be able to do the in-database connection using the alterix and in-database tool. Then we'll delete some data from MySQL database. And lastly, we will try to bring some data from the work workflow to uh, MySQL database. Before you start, make sure that if you are using MySQL database, you have the drivers installed. Sometimes the most recent drivers may not work on your machine. Then simply go to archives and try installing an older version of the drivers. That's why I ended up having 5.1 MySQL drivers installed on my machine. Next step is to check if you have a valid ODBC connection established on your machine. So once you have your drivers installed, make sure that you go here, you specify the driver you just installed, and then you specify the connection to your database. I have performed two of them, IT Unicorns read in and IT Unicorns write back. Let's have a look on the first one. I'm using a free SQL database.com, which I recommend for you to use uh, in, to be able to perform some of these exercises. When you specify your OD, ODBC connection, you need to put your uh, server address, the port, and then the user credentials. Let's begin. Let's start with connect in database tool. That's the one. Here, when you click on that tool, you see that it establishes a database connection for an in DB stream. So, in the options, you need to specify the type of your database. I'm using MySQL, that's why the data source will be MySQL. Then the connection type, in my case, is user. Despite of having the existing connection, I will create a new one. Let's put a name here. Then you have some options to encrypt your password and your credentials. I will leave the default ones. For the driver, we select MySQL ODBC. Connection string is the one that we just established in our ODBC driver window. For reading in the data, I will be using that. The difference is that here I specified which database exactly I want to use. I'm doing it separately because Alteryx was complaining about some features of the in-database tools. That's why I have two separate connections. Once it's specified, I hit OK. For the right, I will specify the other one. All right, the tool is updating the data.
Here we see the Visual Query Builder. If you are not familiar with SQL uh, language, then you can easily build your query by dragging and dropping the fields that you want. Let's specify the ID field, employee first name and employee last name from my test table. My test table is IT underscore unicorns. Let's hit OK. As you may see, this is the connection name and this is the query we just visually built just a second ago. Let's add, let's add browse in DB tool as well to see our output. And I recommend you deselect that feature here, which is enable caching. Because sometimes it may be it may trick you and we don't want to see that. Alright. Let's run and see if it works. Yeah. So we just connected with our database using the in database connection and that's the output. My table simple simply holds one record, which is IT unicorns. All right, let's delete that. To delete some data using in database tools, we simply need to send an empty table to the database. I will be using a text input and I'll create exactly same columns in the table that I want to overwrite. If you want to be sure that the data types are aligned with the ones on your database site, then you can add a select tool and specify the data types that you have in your database. So my database is using an integer for the ID and the varchars with the size of 255 for the other two columns. That's what I'm specifying here. Let's get back to the in database folder here. All right. We are recreating that container. We'll be using a data stream in tool to override the table with our empty table that we just created. Data stream in tool brings data from a standard workflow into an in DB workflow. That means it will take the table from our workflow and it will bring the table to our database. Let's select the connection that we just established. And let's select override table, which will drop out our table this will drop our table and replace the data with an empty table which we just created here that's done if you want to make sure that your data is deleted we can try querying our database again.
As you may see, the table is empty now. That's why it returned no records from the database. OK. Last exercise is to bring the data from the workflow to your MySQL database. We'll, we'll do it similarly to what we have done when we were deleting a data from MySQL database. Let's use a text input. Let's recreate our table. And then let's add some data. Okay, then let's repeat a step with making sure that our data types are exactly the same as the ones that our database expects. Then, as you may see, we'll be using the same data stream in tool to source that data. We specify a connection here. And we specify a table which we want to overwrite. OK, let's hit run. It's done. To see if the query worked, we can use our templates that, that we are here. So in the B connection will return, it should return those three records that we just entered. Let's see. It returned exactly the three records. Okay, so a quick recap. To connect with the database using the IndyB connection, you need to have your drivers installed your connection established using ODBC and then using the connect indb tool in Alteryx you need to establish a connection inside the Alteryx then to delete the data you need to fill the database with an empty table And then if you want to bring some more data or some new data to your database, you need to repeat step number two with a table that contains some data inside. Let's see how it works again. Okay, I'll close those two. That's the data that we currently have in our database. Let's replace that data with an empty data. Empty table. It's done. Now our table holds no data. Look. And now let's feed our database with a bigger table, which is this one. It's done. Let's see how our data looks right now. Five records that we just entered. OK, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have questions, I recommend you going to our website ituniforms.com and contacting with us through our contact form. Thank you guys.